So a number of people have asked me, Glenn, why are you so passionate about the American dream? And a lot of people have heard about my great-grandfather coming to this country from Italy, my grandfather growing up, uh, working for his father after dropping out of school in the sixth grade, and uh, working at Escotis Beauty and Barber Supply until he retired in his 70s, and me growing up sitting on a stool watching him and my uncles grind cheers. But it really is having lived that American dream from the time I was born to you know now. So I'm back in Ocean View and going back to my old stomping grounds. Actually, it's boy that family dentistry on the corner right there was there when I was a kid. But I grew up on this street at Seaview Avenue in Ocean View in Norfolk, Virginia. We can't get all the way down there right now. There's a lot of cars, so we'll park here and kind of walk our way down. But I kind of wanted to show you a little bit of what I saw growing up and just the amazing story that I've been able to have growing up in the United States and in Virginia, be able to follow that American dream. So let's jump on out and I'll show you. So we're gonna walk on up to the apartment complex that I grew up in uh, on Seaview Avenue. It's right up here a little ways and this street actually is uh, very much like I remember it. Um, all the houses that you see here, some of the apartments even down that way are, are the same ones that were here when, uh, when I was a kid. I actually grew up and lived here until I was in the fourth grade uh, when my parents moved to uh, Virginia Beach into a townhouse there. You see the building I'll show you in a second was a two bedroom and it had both my parents, my sister and I, um, but when my sister got of age we had to have a three bedroom so she could have her own bedroom. Um, but boy, this uh, brings back a little bit of memories. So this is the, um, uh, the apartment complex I grew up in. It's a four unit, uh, two on the top, two on the bottom. Both of them are, uh, are two bedrooms. And it's interesting, that uh, tree right there in front of us uh, used to be a little bit taller. I guess it's been cut a little bit. I remember my sister falling out of that tree onto a mattress and cutting her hand wide open. Uh, but this is the, uh, this is the apartment here. It's uh, 120 Seaview Avenue. And uh, it's exactly as we had it when I grew up. Uh, we had the, the fence. You know, it was interesting. My, my great-grandmother uh, lived on the, actually the doors are open. I can show you. Um, my great-grandmother lived in, uh, in Unit B right here. We lived in Unit B right there. My aunt with my three cousins lived over here. And then my grandfather typically rented out the, uh, the upper one to the right or, or to the left up there. Um, and, uh, and our names aren't on the, on the mailboxes anymore. But, but this is the apartment complex. You know, we had a lot of fun out back. Back uh, when most of us were kids, we actually played a lot outside. And that's no different than... Uh, I, I guess uh, any set of kids back in the in the 70s and 80s, and I remember back over here, and it, I guess it finally grew up. I remember my cousin and I were out here one day, and we thought we could actually uh, uh, find a diamond. We thought maybe uh, someone had put a piece of coal underground, you know, uh, decades and decades uh, prior. And you you figure, you know, third grade, you know, you really don't have that whole relative sense of time. But uh, it used to be a really, really, really big hole that for years was there. Um, and then we have a lot of fun uh, throwing a football a little bit on this side of the property. And uh, it just is amazing just, you know, how much it really does remind me of when I was a kid. But, you know, this, this is where I grew up. Um, I wouldn't have it any other way. My, I had a, a big family. Uh, we had great family support. My great-grandmother being here and my aunt being here. I grew up with my cousins. But it was the ability to grow up here, to be around family, and then serve in the General Assembly, having started my own business and now be able to run for Lieutenant Governor. You know, that is the American dream. And that's what I'm running to preserve. And I'm running to preserve it and it's so personal to me because I had the chance to live it. Thank you so much for letting me share. And I look forward to seeing everyone else on the campaign trail.